Isabel Rosales. And Brent Solomon joining us live in Richmond where we're getting reaction to that verdict that has many of you talking. That's right, Brent. You even caught up with our legal expert tonight who explains why opinions and emotions just have to be set aside in cases like this. Yeah, you know, when it comes down to it, everyone has an opinion. But when it comes to the court of law, it must be about the facts. Not guilty. Friday, 18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse acquitted of all charges after going to a Black Lives Matter protest in Wisconsin last year and killing two men, injuring a third. What upsets me most about the verdict is that there's no consequence for this action. The head of Virginia's NAACP watched the verdict come down. Although he disagrees with it, he says he's not surprised by it. Well, many, many African Americans, many black folks um, know that there's a double standard in this country. It has been for many years. Some think that many of us have uh, gotten sadly used to the justice system um, being unjust and uh, providing unfair verdicts and uh, allowing privilege because that's what this case really was about. It was a lot of privilege that was on display and, and that resulted in this particular verdict. It's indisputable that this 17 year old brought a, an assault rifle into a chaotic and dangerous situation. That was incredibly stupid. Stupidity, of course, is not a crime. NBC 12 legal analyst Steve Benjamin says it's important to remember what jurors are tasked with doing. The question was, did he reasonably feel that he was in that kind of danger that justified the use of deadly force? Video showed one of the protesters who was killed attacking Rittenhouse with a skateboard before he was shot. Rittenhouse said he traveled to Wisconsin to protect businesses in that area. We all understand uh, the right to defend yourself or to defend loved ones. But I, I think that th what we should learn from this is the importance of avoiding the situation where you have to do that. The fact that a 17-year-old 17, 17 white man can go unprovoked into a community that he does not live in and openly carry shoot and kill innocent victims or shoot and kill anyone and not have any consequence, any consequence is concerning. Rittenhouse was 17 at the time. He's 18 now and has plans on going to college and becoming a nurse. Live in Richmond on your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12. All right.